now see 1 by 3 into 7 1 by 7 into 11 1 by 11 into 15 and so on up to 1 by 119 into 1 by 123 we are forgetting the traditional method first anil nayar's way of solving the question anil nayar's way now if there are two numerical values in the denominator condense it to one numerical value write down the first and write down the last first and the last one by what is the difference between two numerical values four two numerical values are condensed to how many numerical values one so answer is nothing but 1 by 4 into 123 minus 3 120 divided by 3 into 123 12 so it is nothing but 10 by 123 10 by 123 are you all with me 10 by 123 so answer for this question is 10 by 123 now answer option elimination approach answer option elimination answer option elimination denominator if two numerical values are there in the denominator answer should contain one numerical value last numerical value is 123 123 either it should be 123 or a factor of 123 246 is a multiple of 123 so answer 11 by 246 is eliminated just by looking at the question itself only option c is eliminated so method 2 is used here option c is eliminated sir what if such kind of situations arise if there is only one option if we eliminated and three options are close to each other then what we should do it in such a case what you need to do is is you can use the approximation approach and right now what happens if elimination is elimination is giving you I hope it is clear right now if elimination is giving you you can also use approximation approach approximation approach what is this approximation approach all the value the series is a decreasing series the series is a decreasing series if the series is a decreasing series first option 1 by 3 into 7 which is nothing but 1 by 21 1 by 21 is closer to 1 by 20 1 by 20 is nothing but 5 percentage 1 by 7 into 11 1 by 77 1 by 77 is nothing but 77 ones are 77 just greater than 1 percentage these 1 by 21 is less than 5 percentage less than 5 percentage 1 by 165 these all the values are smaller values all the values are smaller values all the values are smaller values that means if you observe closer to 5 greater than 1 answer should be answer should be probably just greater than 6 percentage answer is just greater than 6 percentage these eliminated 5 by 123 one percentage of 123 is 1.23 so four percentage of 123 is nothing but 4 into 1.23 which is nothing but 4.92 but the answer is greater than five percentage these also you eliminated in case if the answer option of the last numerical value is only eliminating you one option go by the approximation method idea is to give you various tools depending upon the merit of the problem you use any method but method 2 is the best method to solve all the problems but having said that there are certain times where method 2 also is not needed in that case method 3 and the approximation work will be the best approach so we are stuck between these two options because these both are very close to each other use method 2 use method 2 i hope they just a basic understanding of approximation technique is used which technique to use depends upon the merit of the problem which technique to use depends upon the merit of the problem now see here another one 1 by 3 into 7 1 by 7 into 11 1 by 11 into 15 and so on up to 1 by 903 what is the last numerical value 903 answer denominator answer denominator 
either it will be 903 or it will be a factor of 903 or it will be a factor of 903 this is an acid test which you will do it 509 is not possible 31 is not possible we are stuck between 18 by 403 and 25 by 301 both the values both the values of the fractions are the fractions are far away from each other fractions are far away from each other far away this is the first observation now if i use method 2 method 2 what is method 2 method 2 is two numerical values are there write the first and the write the last one by difference between two consecutive numerical values four two numerical values will become one 1 by 4 into 903 minus 3, 900 divided by 3 into 903, 12, 75 by 903, 25 by 301, 25 by 301, according to method 2, 25 by 301 is the right answer, are you all with me, according to method 2 25 by 301 even if you forget method 2 also still you can solve this question by using approximation fact method what is that that also i will tell you approximation method is used when the answer options fractions are very far away from each other don't use the approximation method if answer options are closer to each other use these the denominator factor concept just to eliminate the answer option we are stuck between 18 by 403 and 25 by 301 now approximation approach approximation approach in my class i am not just going to solve the problem i am going to tell you a various approaches so that depending upon your practice you can solve the problem 1 by 21 1 by 21 is greater than 4 percentage 1 by 7 into 11 7 into 11 is 77. It is greater than 1 percentage. So, answer should be greater than 5 percentage. We are, we eliminated this because 509 is not a factor of 301. We eliminated this because it is not a factor of 301. So, answer should be just greater than 5 percentage. 25 by 301. 1 percentage of 301 is nothing but 3.01. If I multiply by 8, it is 24.08, which is coming to closer to 25. So, 25 is closer to 8 percentage, but I want just greater than 5 percentage. So, C is eliminated. The only option left is B. Only option left is T. Method B. Method B is nothing but if there are two numerical values in the denominator, condense it to one numerical value. If there are three numerical values, condense it to one new, two numerical values. Method 2. Multiply it with the multiplication factor 1 by common difference between consecutive terms into number of terms condensed. Method 2. I hope it is clear. Method 3. If there are two numerical values in the denominator, see the last denominator, last value and denominator should be either the number or a fraction of that number. 